So this might look different, but right now I'm on my laptop because because my camera is messing up, so I had to use my laptop. But nevertheless, let's get started. So this is a movie review on The Room. And was it terrible? Oh my gosh. So, I was over here on my laptop like, should I watch something good, something bad? Should I watch Dragon Ball Evolution? Should I watch Psycho? Should I watch, hmm, There's Children of the Corn? That's a good movie. Ooh. She wants me to watch The Room? I'll watch that. And that's how Alrighty. this happened. Let's see what happens. So I watched it. I watched The Room. And, oh my gosh. The movie came out in 2003. And, and first of all, let's start with the positives. Positives, I haven't seen any of the other people in other movies that I know of. So that's one good thing, because I'm pretty sure they all do terrible in it. Another thing is, it's not long. Well, now that's over with. Let's dive into the negatives. The transitioning to scene... <clears throat> the transitioning from scene to scene was terrible. The acting was terrible. The pacing was bad. It felt like watching two hours, and maybe two and a half hours, when it was only probably an hour and a half. It was awful. Johnny is annoying to listen to, Lisa was fake, Mark was a terrible friend, and the mother was a gold digger. So basically you don't care about any of them. So the story behind this movie is a guy loves his fiance. She's a terrible person and deliberately cheats on him daily. Her mom said stay with the guy with the money. His friend is the person seeing his wife. That's basically what sums up the movie. All the characters are terrible. You don't care about any of them. So I'm going to, spoiler warning. One of them kills themselves. I didn't care. I'm sure the people there didn't care. And you probably won't care. It's that bad. Now, it did make me want to see some other movies, though. Like Dragon Ball Evolution, I haven't seen, so I want to see that just because how terrible everyone says it was. And because I'm going to see that, I'm going to see The Last Airbender again because that was terrible. I want to see which one's worse. But back to the movie. From beginning to end. From beginning. It looks like Full House, like the little intro. I don't know why, but it reminds me of the Full House intro. So throughout the entire movie, Lisa was with Johnny, but she was cheating on him. And every time she was with Johnny, it would play a terrible song. There was like maybe one good song, but most of it was just awful. And then it go from love scene with them to her with the other guy. So love scene with him, talking to her mother about which one she should date. And her mother saying Johnny just because he has the money. And speaking of Johnny, he was a good guy, but just hearing him through the entire movie was awful. This is him. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bull. I did not hit her. And then when he threw a bottle at the ground, he saw his buddy and he was like, I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. It was awful. Oh, and as a reminder, I have The Boy, Neighbors 2, and Batman Bad Blood still coming up. I know I've been kind of slacking on the videos lately, and I'm going to try to have them up sooner each week. But I'm telling you, when they're all up, I'm going to start hitting back to back. Also, expect in a couple months to get some book reviews. I'm going to start with Cell. I'm going to do Cell, and then I'm going to do the book review, then I'm going to watch Cell, then I'm going to do the movie review. That's in a couple months, so I'll remind you maybe next month. So the reason I watched this movie is because of my friend Tori. I, the only reason I watched this movie is because of my friend. And her link is right here. And her link is... So have you seen it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Comment below and let me know. And is this one of your most hated movies? This is one of mine. This is so bad, I'd give it... I'd even give it an F. So like always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.